Hi, I'm Ichikawa here and welcome back to another day with makeup. Uh, so I'm gonna do a tribal uh, look today. Uh, one I did uh, the first year I did 31 days of makeup. So I'm gonna try and recreate uh, that one. And I'll just uh, find my phone cam and I'll show you guys. Uh, so this is the look uh, I'm gonna try and recreate today. Uh, I did it uh, back in 2017, uh, but I also found the original creator, or I think since it's been such a long time. So I guess it's uh, this one that I did. Uh, I think this one was posted in 2016, so yeah, I totally copied uh, that look. So I have to give credit, <laughs> since it's not uh, my original. So yeah, I'll gonna start now and we'll see how I do. We are starting off uh, with the wiggy cap and I'm using the uh, Coriolan color wheel which I mentioned in another video and when I did mention that uh, this is what I was talking about. I'm starting uh, off with the red color but I didn't film that part for some reason. I have no idea why but it's just me not knowing what I'm doing to be honest. I'm going in with yellow color from the same color wheel. Uh, the color wheel is a wheel with different colors of course. Uh, they are cream colors, so they are super greasy and they are kind of messy and rubs off very easily. Uh, but they are super strong and they mix very well. I usually just use uh, the cream colors when I'm at home uh, and not really at a con or something like that since they are they rub off very easily, but you can use, uh, I sometimes use uh, eyeshadow uh, to like set it, so it doesn't rub off that easily. I am now going in with the white color from the color wheel, and I'm using this for the details. Any one of you guys that heard about the whole uh, monkey PR thing, uh, that they are sending monkeys in PR packages, like what even is that? What do you do with a monkey? Do you do you throw it in the trash when you're done with a monkey? Do, do, you, do you send it back? What are you gonna do with a monkey? The monkey thing is so confusing and I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, back to the makeup look. Uh, so I'm basically... What even was that? Uh, I'm basically using white for all the details I'm doing. My English is beyond me sometimes, and <laughs> I was laughing so hard. It's what's kind of funny, not gonna lie. Uh, but anyway, I'm going in with a dark eyeshadow uh, around my eyes for a more contrast look. I have mostly been using a blending brush, uh, actually different type of blending brushes uh, for this look. And I used an angled uh, brush for the sharp lines. I also went in with an eyeliner on my waterline. Uh, yeah, so this is the finished look for today. Uh, it wasn't anything hard, so it didn't took uh, it didn't uh, take that long to do. Uh, I wanted to use the same wig as I used the first time I did the makeup look, uh, but it was super messy, so I had to go and clean it. Uh, so that is uh, drying right now. Uh, but I'm not sure how I feel about this wig. Uh, I think I would prefer the other one, so I might try and dry it and change the wig before I do the pictures, or I'm gonna try and do some picture and sh pictures and I'll see how they look, and then I might change the wig. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, the makeup look for today. <laughs> 